I tell you, if you see this video, wait long, okay? Uh, Bookers, I'm going to come and pay. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? What's up, Tropa? What's up, Ate? What's up, Kuya? What's up, Pare? I call si Calvin Cashel. I'm back with another reaction video. But today I am going to react to something totally different. I'm going to react to culture shocks I experienced in the Philippines. Yeah. If you guys like my video, maybe I will bring mine too. I'll bring my kind of video as well. The thing that I've experienced in the Philippines, which I haven't experienced before. The things that I saw in the Philippines, which I haven't seen in other countries or where I came from. So, if you like my reaction, let me know in the comments below. And of course, subscribe to your drop. You gotta share my video with the whole barangay. The whole barangay, they need to know that there is this crazy black guy reacting to Filipino videos. If you subscribe... Thank you so much. As you guys know, your boy doesn't tell that much. Let me get, let me jump straight to the video. I got my headset in here with me. Let's go, let's go. Boom. Hey guys, it's Jessica here. And today Hi, I Jessica. have another highly requested video for you guys. The culture shocking moments I had when I first came to the Philippines. And rather than calling it a culture shock, I would like to um, define it as the cool things I found in the Philippines. Okay. Anyways, let's just get started right away. So the first thing that I found cool or I was shocked at was the guards. Mm -hmm. I still remember this moment when I first went to SM Mall and okay. I saw female guard and a man guard having a gun at the back of their pocket. They were checking our bags and stuff. First, I was like, back in Africa, they have AK 47. They have like, <laughs> they have guns. I mean, like, you have to have guns. I mean, you're taking care of something. People won't, I mean, like, back, I mean, back in Africa, like, people that won't respect you if they don't see a gun. You can, okay, let's go. I mean, am I going to the airport? Why did I have to, you know, check my bag and stuff? But after a few days of living in the Philippines, I realized that that's a common thing here in the Philippines, you know, to have security guards all over the place. Because in Korea, there's no security guards guarding malls or markets. It's just, you can just... Wow. There's no security guards in Korea. Oh, wow. I mean, like... You guys are so child of real like okay, are you see? Mm -mm. Whoa, I mean I wish everywhere could be the same. And everywhere the trust was the same as well. Like you gotta trust your people, right? Okay. I mean Korea's it's mm, small. Okay. Enter. Anyone can enter and yeah. Second thing is the gays and lesbians. Of course, like gays and lesbians exist in everywhere, right? But in Korea, it's mm -hmm. like not a common thing. Or if there's a gay or a lesbian in the street, it's kind of hard. I think back in Africa as well. Like back in Africa as well, yeah. Back in Africa as well. To notice that they are gays or lesbians. But in the Philippines, there are a lot of those people. At first, I was just really shocked because like I was really young and I didn't even know what gay is. So here in the Philippines, like if you just go out in the street, you can just easily catch a gay walking by or a lesbian. Mostly gays, yeah. So I just found that cool. Third thing is the Sari Sari store. I remember this time mm. when I went to this village where people live. And I think I, I even I even I even have my two I mean I even have two pesos to pay At the Sari Sari story in like downstairs. I tell you, if you see this video, wait long, okay? Uh, Bookers, I'm going to come and pay <laughs> your bill. <laughs> Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! I'm sorry. I still have two pesos. I know. I didn't forget about it. Okay, let's go. That and is the Sari Sari store. <laughs> saw a Sari Sari store, but I didn't know that it was a Sari Sari mm -hmm. store by the time. And I saw them selling a Coke. In a plastic bag, mm -hmm. even water. They sell mm. water in a plastic bag. Or that one there, my college friends, <laughs> engineers. <laughs> Let me know what we used to do with that <laughs> when we were about to overnight, like study cobra. We, I mean, we, I mean, before we wouldn't put. 
cock there we would put cobra like before we start we just get our cobra like like there with there we chilling so that it will give us energy that we can stay awake during the night like that is something that is also something that i also find i found like when i saw it for the first time i was like mm, you drinking that in the plastic but guess what? I got used to it. I got used to it. Sometimes I'll just go to the Sari Sari store and she said as well. That they would like ask me, should I put it in the plastic? Because normally, I mean, if you, you got to take it back on the bar and stuff. I say like, yeah, the, just give me the plastic and the straw as well. Don't forget it. <laughs> Any drink. I didn't know that that was such a common thing here in the Philippines, but yeah, I just found it cool. Also, they sell cigarettes like one by one instead of a whole package of it, mm -hmm. and the price was unrealistically cheap. It would cost about one peso to buy two small yeah, candies, like, and there were also good, snacks yeah. in a uh, package. As well, like back in Africa, I don't smoke, but a back in Africa is not really that cheap. Yeah. I won't say back in Africa, like I cannot be like in here, sorry guys, I cannot be here like, like I have lived in other, in Af I mean back in Angola, back in Namibia, and back in South Africa, those, these are the countries that I have lived in Africa, so. That's like a price of not even one candy in Korea, so I was pretty shocked at it. And the fourth thing that I was shocked at was throwing trashes. <laughs> like let's say for example in the theater, people would just like leave their trashes on their seat. In Korea, that's like very uncommon thing mm -hmm. to do because people would bring the trashes with them and throw it in the trash can which is like right by the... I think that is like back in Angola or at a concert I have believe. I think it's common, I think. Yeah, I think people like even in, when you go to KFC, you will just eat after you age, you left. I mean, you just leave everything on the table. I mean, it's you can take it, but it's not. I think it's not like really a must. But, you know, you can take it like um, to the counter, you can take it to the trash bin and stuff. Exit. So like I asked my friends like, oh, why don't you, why don't you clean your own trash? And then they were like, oh, you know, there are workers who clean for it. Really? And yeah, that's your job. You know, it made me think a lot of stuff, but also in cafes, you know how in Korea, um, if you order your drink or like a dessert, you eat it in your seat or in the table and you have to bring it to the counter right and that's like such a common thing like mm -hmm. we're just so used to it but in the philippines they just leave it there like, i've never seen someone who actually throws or like bring back the dishes or the cups like in fast food restaurants for example i've seen i have seen i have seen i have some yeah, i i do have some filipino friends that like, like yeah they were like oh calvin don't leave it i mean Let's put it like yeah, on the on the trash bin, yeah. I mean, yeah, I have seen that, I have seen that, okay. Actually throwing their trashes in the trash can, but that was also a rare thing. So yeah, I think people are kind of used to those kind of things because they know that there's a certain mm -hmm. worker whose job is just to clean the trashes. Number five is the trait of the Filipinos. The first trait I found from the Filipinos was being late. Okay, so nine out of ten people I met was late in, when it comes to like meeting or hanging. Bruh, like for me, Filipinos, I mean, like it depends as well, I think. But if you think Filipinos, they're late, like <laughs> go, go to Angola, like back in Angola, if you party, if you, if you like, if you have a party. If it's going to start 8 p.m., you shouldn't tell your guests that it will start 8 p.m. You should tell them that it will start by 6 p.m. Because they won't even get there by 6 p.m. They'll get there by 9 p.m. Did you get it? So, I mean, like... <laughs> For example, if I was going to meet them at, like... 2 p.m. they would come at 2.15 or even right? later than that and honestly I'm the type of person who really keeps time promises if he's not late Jessica <laughs> like maybe I, mean, I probably I do understand maybe I, I like where Jessica came from as she said they know used to be late by Angola <laughs> oh my gosh if you're having a meeting <laughs> 
my meeting is at 2 p.m. I would go in the meeting place at like 1.50 and wait for the rest of the people. One time wow. I was gonna hang out with my friends mm -hmm. and then we were going to meet at like 3 p.m. I think. And all of them ended up coming at 4. Mm -hmm. At first, of course, I thought that it is only for me. I thought that my friends are the only ones being late. So I asked another Korean people out mm -hmm. there if they also experienced the same thing. And they were like, yes, they agree. I think this is a sad thing. Another trait of them is like burping so naturally because in Korea it is very very rude if you just yeah, burp yeah, that's unless it's a joke. Now I'm a little yeah, bit even back, yeah even even back in Angola it's yeah, like you don't do that like especially if you if you are with elders and stuff you guys on the table like that is not allowed you can even get like beep. used to it not completely because I don't know, I can't get used to it for some reason. Mm -hmm. One of the yeah. most common traits would also be like raising eyebrows. And I think I kind of like adopted this mm -hmm. already because yeah, I yeah. raised my eyebrows like 100 times if you guys notice. It's like one of my habit, one of my bad habits. Filipinos would raise their eyebrows if they want to say yes to something. Like for example, if someone asks, hey, have you eaten? I do that a lot of times too. Mm -hmm. And last trait that I noticed was their mouth so for example if you would ask them oh where's the phone and they would be like mm, there now I'm mm. pretty used to it so I even indicate yeah. something using my mouth okay, like yeah. mm. the last thing which is yeah, the sixth is the transportation mm. okay I would start off by mentioning tricycle mm. which is like one of my favorite rides when i first came to the philippines and saw tricycle i was like i mean i do like tricycle as well i do but for me i prefer the tricycles inside the barangays yeah like because i mean back in, i mean back in batanga is like i i don't really feel comfortable of getting tricycle when it's too far because brah the fee it's gonna be high like <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to ride that. My mom wouldn't really allow me to ride it because it's dangerous. But you know what? Tricycle fees are very expensive. They would like call up a higher price to foreigners because they mm -hmm. believe that foreigners don't really know about the yeah. typical prices of or rates for riding tricycles. Also, another ride would be jeepney. And me, bro, I have been here in the Philippines for like for long, and I know that the prices like. When queer will be like queer, like I'll be like queer, Magano. Mm, queer, 200. <coughs> no, no, Mahal queer. Oh, queer will be like, I know Bayan. <laughs> Magano, Magano, do you have? But it depends on distance. Sometimes it's not really far. Sometimes, like, it's not really far. It's just like, uh, like I don't know, 10 meters. I don't, I don't even know. But because, as I said, why do I like uh, the tricycles in, in Barangay? Because they have the fixed price, right? I think back by that time it was like 8 peso. I think it was like 8 pesos per person, I think. If you go alone, I think it's like 20 to 25 pesos, right? So because it's just inside the barangay and stuff. I like Jeepney. I mean, it's very cheap. And I just like how, you know, you have to pass oh. the price to the person in front of you. So the Let me see this Jeepney. Where's this, where this Jeepney? Also, another ride Jeepney. would be Jeepney. And I like Jeepney. I mean, it's very cheap. And I just like how, you know, you have to pass the price to the person in front of you. So the person in front of you would pass yeah, the like money to either. the person in front of them. Yeah. I like, uh, I think buy it, Paul. Buy it, Paul. This is like... <laughs> I, think, I, I think if you haven't seen my video, the first five words that I learned in the Philippines, I'm going to leave on the description below. Like, I think that was... I think one of the first words that I that I learned as well, parapo and bayadpo. You should know these three. I mean these two terms. Like bayadpo is like when you give in your payment and parapo when you're gonna stop somewhere. Because if you don't say like we parapo sa um, let's say it's a sa Langilan or sa Quezon City, I don't know. If you don't say that the I mean the driver or the kuya will take you until the final destination. So he needs to know, okay. That guy there, oh, these foreigners and stuff, he will stay, I don't know, like in chaos and oh, so, so it's really, it's really vital if you know that term. I don't know, that's so humane. 
right? If you just want to stop in a certain place, you would just say, oh, I'm here, stop here, and he would just drop you there. But I think that's like a very good thing, right? But I don't really write GPs a lot of times because, I don't know, I'm kind of scared because... I think that is hard to happen, I think, in the provinces. Uh, but like maybe in Manila, yeah, but like if you go to Batangas and stuff, that never happened and I, I mean I haven't seen being pickpocketed <sighs> I'm sorry all right so I think that's the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed yeah, it did. and I'll see you guys in the next one we did enjoy Jessica and thank you for your experience thank you for sharing your experience if you guys like my reaction video let me know in the comments below if you guys want more of this kind of video or if you guys want to see my experience as well let me know in the comments below so i can bring more more video about this this is your boy coffee in car show if you go outside please please wear mask in god paul maramik baramik salamat